pretty hard to say what social networks are for the people. On the one hand, their original intention was just to simplify communication between people. But now it's no longer just a place for us to correspond, but rather a separate aspect of our lives. Surely even the creators didn't expect what their creations would become. The enormous impact of social media isn't limited to the negative or the positive, but it's rather a complex phenomenon. Hello, my name is Alan and I'm 18 years old. Uh, three years ago, when I was 15, my weight was only 45 kilograms, but uh, I set to myself a goal to gain weight and gain muscle mass. And then three years later, uh, after long trainings and dedication to hard work, I achieved uh, the weight of 65 kilograms. And in conclusion, I can say that uh, people don't need to depend on the people that post themselves through Photoshop on the social medias. Me bloggers, especially on Instagram, are very fond of recommending to their gullible subscribers all sorts of bio supplements. But not many people know that in fact these supplements can have a very negative impact on health, as unlike drugs, they do not pass long studies. Why do bloggers do it? The answer is very easy. It's money. They get a percentage of sales for placing links under their post. Chasing trends isn't a new phenomenon. We saw it in the 90s with their wild colors and in the 80s with glam rock hairstyles. But the thing is, some trends can seriously mess with your health. And now people resort to all sorts of unhealthy diets and extreme stuff to stay on top of things. Both those who start trends and those who simply follow need to relax a little. History teach us that blindly coping trends isn't always wise. So social networks aren't helpful either. They often forget to mention about the negative side of the trend. In any case, it's up to you.